Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a Libra Sun, uh, Moon and Rising, monthly tarot reading for um, June 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and we can go straight away to the spread. All right, so um, the first card which marks uh, Libra's topic for the month, that is going to be the Queen of Wands, followed by the second card which represents a peripheral activities that you Libra can go for uh, throughout the month, something completely conditional. You may, you know, go for it, you may decide not to. That will be the Page of Wands. Followed by the third card here, which is the challenges that you need to uh, overcome for throughout the month. That will be the Knight of Wands. The fourth card for you guys represents uh, the positive aspect of the month. That will be the uh, Sun card. <clears throat> and the last one, which is the guidance uh, that you should uh, follow throughout the month. That will be the Page of uh, Pentacles. So once again, we do have the Queen of uh, Wands followed by the uh, Page of Wands, afterwards that will be the uh, Knight of Wands, afterwards we do have uh, the uh, Sun card and furthermore that will be the uh, Page of Pentacles. Alright, so uh, uh, that one, that month itself uh, it does look like that you will have to deal with some sort of a competition and it is what the month is going to be uh, revolving around. Now, luckily, we can see how you can overcome that competition here with ease. But just so I say, uh, you know, even if you are incapable to do so to overcome the competition, uh, that will not kind of have that big impact upon uh, feeling regretful and as well uh, finding yourself in rather more poignant, uh, poignant situation. So uh, the very topic of the month here, that will be the Queen of Wands. So we do have a person, a person whom you uh, will have the, um, the eagerness uh, to impress. That does look like more uh, of a um, competition in regards to career, to be honest. Something like a competition for a promotion, a competition for uh, standing out, you know, a competition for being praised, a competition for taking on a, a job or on an, an endeavor. Now the Queen of Wands here, it is the judge or the one that you will have to impress throughout the month. Now, what is important for the Queen of Wands as a, a person that needs to be impressed is that uh, you should not, how can I display it? So uh, the, the Queen itself very well knows 
uh, what your good sides are and what your um, negative sides are as well. I mean, that queen, that person can definitely find a spot for you into their endeavors, either career or either relationship-wise as well. The thing is that you should not present yourself in a different light as you are, all right? <clears throat> so whatever you are in reality, this is how you should approach the situation instead of trying to present yourself, for example, richer than you are or more capable than you are or more knowledgeable than you are and so on and so forth. That is for the reason because this queen knows. I mean, she can she has that acute business sense and as well the, the sense into the human nature that um, just from a, a couple of hours spent together, she very well knows how much you're worth. And the good thing here is, is that, uh, you know, she can find a, a spot for you into their life, into its life or into its environment. Now, obviously, if this is about romantic interest, it seems that you will have to cooperate with someone for the heart of the Queen of uh, Wands. And if that's the case, then uh, this person, it is very favorable for those who know how to enjoy themselves and how to enjoy uh, from the life activities. The accompanied card here, that will be the Nine of Swords. So the uh, combination that we do have, that will be the active, um, active friends. And it seems that it's going to be a great deal for you to truly... Um, do the right thing here is what I'm trying to say because uh, with the nine of swords it does look like that this person queen of uh, queen of wands it's uh, a bit unforgiving meaning that should you do the wrong step there is no going back from it but in the same time uh, this uh, this person despite those who are very protective and very hesitant as well so in other words what uh, when you approach that person in regarding either career or relationship wise throughout the month guys uh, you will have to be rather decisive and in the same time you will have to be fully aware of what is in stake in regards to if this is going to be a business partnership or a relationship that is uh, so the next, uh, the next card that we do have for you, that will be the peripheral activities and that will be the page of uh, wands. Now, in this case, I don't believe that this is a person, but rather that expresses your nature. And this is something that you should definitely go for as we do have four fiery cards. So this, this month, I would say that you are to be on fire. And as the page of uh, wands sits here, that could uh, speak for... Um, a different side of your uh, of your nature. I know that you Libras are rather very calculative, all right, and uh, it's very difficult for you to make a decision. I do have, you know, some experience with Libras, but uh, and uh, thus far, this is what I have observed of. But here uh, with the Page of Wands, this month you can shine by presenting yourself as someone who is uh, open for everything new that comes around, all right? To experience everything new that comes around. And also this card points that you get to be the, uh, the positive news deliverer as well. So any kind of positive, positive news that you can deliver to someone is going to pay off a big time for you. The accompanied card here, that will be the... Uh, uh, tree of cups that we do have formation it is a uh, active enemies and it looks like that you are going to be very strong on your own what i mean here is, is that you will not need the help of anybody to overcome the competition and really to impress the uh, queen of uh, wants um, and uh, uh, what, what i'm trying to say is that you are going to be self-efficient okay and you will not want uh, you will not need anybody to tell you what to do anybody to help you or anybody to encourage you as well because believe me with these cards you are going to be well motivated as we go to the positivity in a few minutes of what the month have to present to you so with these cards, finally, if I if I have to conclude with the peripheral activities, is that the more you can constrain the help and the involvement of others into your deeds, the better. Uh, the next one, it is the competition itself, which is what you have to stand against here. The uh, the challenges that will be the Knights of Wands. So Knights of Wands, it is a very enterprising young person, usually someone who uh, is uh, very risky as well. I mean that this person does not, it's not afraid, you know, to try to experiment and to do what it's needed to um, achieve one's goal, which is in this case 
isn't doing. As we said that you don't have a room for mistake with the Queen of Wands, well, it is most likely that if you are patient enough, but in the same time give an impression that you are not bailing out on the activity that involves the Queen of Wands, now this person here, the uh, Knight of Wands, is going to step... Um, how can I place it, is going to make a, a wrong step and that will severely going to deprive him from chances, you know, to overcome you into this competition. Additional card here, that will be the uh, Ace of uh, Cups. So the formation, it is a uh, active enemies and it does look like that this, uh, this man does not, uh, whatever they are involving themselves in into that competition, they don't like it, all right? But it is, it is somewhat a, a beneficial for them materially, that is. There is no emotional connection here. There is no excitement. There is no exhilaration as well. What they do is uh, purely dictated by a material comfort. And that is another reason why I think by looking at this card now that comes up that we're talking more about a, a career rather than a, a relationship, okay? Because that could involve, for example, that a big project comes into your company and uh, uh, the supervisor that you're working under, you know, the one that leads your team, haven't decided yet which people should be involved into that project. And throughout this month, you have to prove yourself um, um, <clears throat> simultaneously responsible enough and as well rational enough all right, and also active enough. While the, the Knights of uh, Wands, they see only an opportunity for them to shine, all right, but in the same time, they don't really like to be constrained only into, into one thing. They don't, they don't oblige on, uh, on rules and, and code of conduits either. So um, basically their uh, hyperactivity, it is their enemy within this, uh, within this particular uh, month. So going to the next card, Libras, it is the positive aspect of the month and we do have the Sun card. So the Sun card, first of all, it does point that you are will, you will be able to um, improve a lot of your relationships. Friendship and romantic and business relationship, that is, regardless, I mean, uh, even if you do have a certain conflicts with people throughout the month, it is very likely that you and these people are going to realize that these conflicts serves no one's benefits and therefore a severe attempt are to be made in order the hatchets of war to be buried down and there should be no more turmoil in the um, in these relationships. Additionally to that, the sun points that this month will present you with energies of growth and, is, and expand as well. As a fiery card, mostly associated career-wise, as it does preach that you also can benefit from a additional monetary increase, all right? So you can expect a, a, a bonus, for example, into your career, or a, at least an opportunity for bonus, and as well a um, financial increase that is but the best thing here with uh, this card is that whatever you are involved to into this uh, throughout the months of june uh, libras it will feel natural it will feel like you are born for it all right and it will feel that it's, it is not a chore but something that you can um, <clears throat> proceed forward with with rather glee and exhilaration as well. And that will motivate a lot of people around you and uh, you have the opportunity to um, achieve a lot of vital connections and friendships as well. The accompanied card here, that will be the five of uh, cups and that speaks for itself here, guys. The formation, it is a uh, active enemies. So um, I don't know how really to de to describe it, but let's say that whatever disappointments you do have, uh, you do had in the past, you know, are going to completely lose uh, relevance to you because the month itself is going to uh, present present you with such kind of a beautiful and positive activities that you will completely going to forget the pain that you are living under or rather like whatever pain you do have is not going to take a, a participation into the months of June for you. And uh, finally, what we have is the guidance card here that will be the page of uh, pentacles. So the page of pentacles, <clears throat> It is the card pointing that you need to represent yourself as a, with a youthful spirit, all right? I mean, you will always have to be cheerful and uh, approaching any kind of opportunity that is with uh, rather, how can I place it? 
um, sincere, um, sincere determination. Wait, it, it is that a term? You know, with with a great portion of sincerity, if I may express myself that way. But in the same time, the Page of Pentacles points that you should not be irrational at all. Uh, if there is nothing into it for you, then you should not take a participation whatsoever as well. All right. And uh, additionally to that, the Page of Pentacles asks you to keep your belongings close to you and safe, not because you may be robbed or anything, but because throughout these improvement of connections and friendships, you may uh, be jeopardized of wasting resources for someone else's benefits um, on top of it. And uh, the accompanied card here, that will be the Ten of Wands. So the formation it is a, a passive neutral is what we do have. And uh, uh, what these cards are pointing is that uh, as, as a combo is that uh, at the start of the month, you may find yourself a, bit, a little bit scattered. You know, it's kind of like you do have many... Um, responsibilities to deal with uh, that none of them can actually be brought through its uh, very end because you don't simply don't have the time for for you to do so but the more you're associating yourself with the queen of wands here the prime person of your wands and uh, the more you overcome the competition uh, one of those responsibilities or one of those agendas is going to just stick out and this is what you're going to focus at and as you do so you will no longer feel that you know, uh, your life is stolen from you and you ha you don't have time for yourself and, um, you know, um, uh, overburdened that is. So you're going to drop a, a heavy load of burdens, uh, realizing that many of uh, the endeavors you are uh, proceeding forward with are rather unsubstantial, right? They lack substan substantiability for your well-being and instead you are to focus on two couple or maybe three particular uh, things which you are, you are finding rather extremely gainingful uh, for your behalf. So that being said, Libras, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for uh, June 2019. I hope you enjoyed and liked it, guys, and um, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye!